It's really the hardest thing for most people. Most people don't understand what hope is. They're very confused about it and are not sure how to identify it. People who were overly rational think, you know, hope, it's just wishful thinking. It's false hope, really. It's not living with reality. And, and many people who are, are religious confuse hope with faith. They think that what they believe is the same as their hope. And that's not exactly true. Hope is something we nurture. It's something that grows in us. It's something that we begin to do and becomes a resource for us. So today I want to talk about hope and give some examples. And while I do that, be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as to click that bell so you're notified of future videos. I got a call from a friend of mine a couple weeks ago. He was all excited and he said, Congratulate me, I got a new job. I knew that he had been having financial trouble. He had been working two jobs and having difficulty making ends meet. I thought, oh, a new job, that means he has one job that's gonna take care of his financial needs. So I congratulated him, said what I thought was happening, and he said, and he laughed, and he said, no, you're counting the wrong way. I don't have one job. I have three jobs now, and with three jobs, I should be able to pay my bills. And a lot of the bills he's trying to pay off are medically related because he doesn't have sufficient medical coverage. Wow. He was excited because he's working himself to death. He has three jobs. But you see, he sees this as an opportunity. He has a perspective that's been nurtured by his ability to look for the positive, to find hope, even in difficult circumstances. It's a lot like someone who I know who lives near me, a woman who in the last year uh, was diagnosed with cancer. She had surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, and over that process developed other health issues and is now disabled. She's on Medicaid and she keeps getting turned down for disability. So her Medicaid social worker is trying to help with that and, and resubmit the application, but she's not sure how to pay utility bills and how to keep things together. But yet she has a positive outlook. She believes that good things are happening in her life, and she'll tell you that when she talks to you. She has hope. She understands what hope is about. She and my friend both learned that hope isn't about the external circumstances. Instead, hope is about being able to appreciate things in life, to expect that there's gonna be goodness there. That goodness may be based in the awareness that I'm still alive, that I wake up in the morning, that I have another day, that the sun rises, it's experienced through kindness, kindness from strangers, through the love and support of friends, through experiencing goodness in nature, the flowers and the birds and so many other things. People who hope begin in small ways with gratitude for what's around them. And as that gratitude builds and fills them, they begin to move through life with an awareness that something good is gonna happen for them despite everything else that's going on. Those good things may be small, but they look forward to them, they appreciate them, they hold on to them, and they're special and give them a greater sense of life. That's part of how hope works in our life. On the other hand, I, I have another, well, friend, person I know, who really wants to make it big in the music industry. He has some talent, but I never know how far any of this stuff really goes. But he's convinced that he needs to be a, a, a star, someone notable, and he's focused on that. Lots of people try to be supportive and encouraging, but his mood is up and down. If he has a success in music, he's elated and convinced that everything's wonderful. And if something doesn't go his way, he's unconsolable. He misses 
everything that everyone's doing around him, the kindness people are providing, the way they're trying to support him, because he is so focused on his goal that he can't see anything else. You see, being focused on the goal, being expecting something very specific to happen in your life, that's not hope. That's a goal. That's working towards a goal. And the danger of working towards a goal is that we sometimes miss the larger context. And that larger context is where hope is found because it's when we're open and able to see more broadly that we find goodness and grace and beauty and love in life that enriches our life. Maybe if he experienced that goodness and, and really appreciated the love people have for him, he'd be a better singer. I don't know, but he'd have a better life and he wouldn't be going through all kinds of emotional ups and downs. Hope is a way of moving through life. It's expecting good things to happen despite everything else. And that's what makes it hard. Hope doesn't just come out of nowhere. It's something we train ourselves for. It's a spiritual practice. It's a way of looking at the world that trusts that no matter what comes my way, there will still be goodness and committing ourselves to really grabbing onto that goodness in whatever form it comes to us, allowing that to enrich our lives. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it with others, make some comments, and know that I appreciate the time you spend on Spirituality Beyond Borders. Have a great day.